I'm excited to announce that I am hosting a TIG welding workshop for you. Yeah. The workshop's gonna be on February 26th. Yeah, that's a Wednesday. It's coming up soon, and that is the Wednesday prior to the Porsche week end, centered around the uh, LA toy and literature uh, swap meet. So in Los Angeles, Southern California, the workshop will be here in my home garage studio. It seems like yesterday, but it's been almost 20 years since I took my first welding class. I walked into a very prominent shop here in Southern California, and I brought my equipment. I brought this giant glove and an old flip style uh, welding helmet. And Steve who was the owner teaching the class, kind of rolled his eyes and said, here, why don't you borrow some of my gloves? And I thought I was taking a MIG welding class and uh, he taught me TIG that day and I have never looked back. So in the last 20 years, I've learned a thing or two about how to TIG weld thin sheet metal and I wanna teach my techniques to you so it doesn't take you 20 years. You know, there's a lot of information available on the internet for TIG welding, but unfortunately there's not a lot of good information available on thin sheet metal and that is what this course is about. Not only how to weld thin sheet metal, but how to control it from distorting. My eight hour workshop is going to be divided up into three major areas. How to set it up correctly, how to TIG weld it, and how to metal finish it correctly so it's ready for bodywork and paint. So whether you are new to welding or if you are an experienced welder, my three step process will help you get to the next level. This course is not about theory and we're not gonna just weld little squares together. We are going to do actual work on parts that are car parts and show you what it takes to get your car project finished. Some of the advanced techniques we're gonna talk about is you know, how to weld on the edge of door skins to enclose the gap a little bit. How to shrink metal, how to stretch metal, how to metal finish the metal so it's ready for body work. We're gonna to cover topics like welding in awkward positions and even welding upside down, overhead welding. We are going to cover oil canning and all sorts of things that are important for actual car restoration. Step number one in my workshop process is setup. And yes, we're gonna be covering the setup of the welder, but also it's about the strategy on how you're tackling your project. You know, when I first got started, I was afraid to cut into my car. And if it was a rust section, I would cut out a rectangle, make a piece, weld it in. And what I discovered is that everywhere there was a right angle corner on the rectangle, the metal would sink in. Or I hadn't thought about access from the back on how to metal finish it once it's welded. So you end up having to use a lot of filler on a repair like that. And it's really not necessary. So I teach you know, how to make oval patches or, you know, plan your cuts so that you have access to the backside so you can do step number three, which is metal finishing. In terms of welding setup, I'm gonna show you guys what I use for welding wire, filler wire. You know, it's not even available at the TIG store in the sizes that's required. I've had great success welding as thin as 24 gauge metal with MIG wire. And I'm gonna show you how I straighten the wire and how to use MIG wire for TIG welding. Number two in my how to be a better welder workshop is TIG weld it. I'm going to be demonstrating and allowing you to practice the things like arc length and variable weld current and where to start the arc and where to stop the arc, things like travel speed. You know, the more experienced you get, the faster you can go and the less heat input there is. But depending on your level, we will start very slow or if you're more advanced, we will work on moving quickly and reducing the heat affected zone. Step number three in the welding process is metal finish it. So we're gonna be using a hammer just as much as we're gonna be using the TIG welder. It's super important to get the finish and the curvature of the panel like it was at the factory. So sometimes we overstretch the metal a little bit and we'll use the TIG welder to shrink it back some. So I'm gonna allow you to practice on that. Um, this is the perfect tutorial for the DIY car guy to improve your skill. This first course is going to be limited to four people. That is so you get the maximum amount of time under the hood to practice your skill with my coaching to get better. Some of you may not know that I've been teaching welding for many years. I teach boys ages 10 through 18 
with the Boy Scouts. I'm a merit badge welding counselor for the Boy Scouts. And I teach them welding, including TIG welding. And the results are actually really, really good when you're coached correctly. I believe this course is gonna help. I think it's probably a $400 course. Uh, the first time I'm gonna teach it, it's gonna be a lot less. I'm gonna do 225 for the first four. If you're interested, please email me right away to reserve your spot. So if you've been following my project here on YouTube, you will know that not only did I make many of the parts myself, but I have done a ton of welding on this car. If I paid a shop here in Southern California to do all the work that's been done to this car that I've shown you on YouTube, it would cost in excess of $25,000 and it would probably have a little bit more filler than my car has. So I encourage you to come to Garage Time, have a look, a close look at my car, um, learn a new skill, have fun, and learn how you can save a ton of money.